Welcome to the 11th video in the Metric Math Water Waste Water YouTube series. Today's video is going to focus on how to find. Today's video will focus on how to find flow rate in the size of the pipe and the velocity of the fluid are both known. All right. When we take a look at this concept of flow rate, area, and velocity. We are based on that formula, flow rate equals area times velocity. Now it's really, really careful. Now it's really, really important that you maintain some basic math rules or goal. Now it's really, really important that you abide by some very, very basic math rules. And the first rule that you have to know is that the left side of the equal sign has to equal the right side. That's what equals means. Okay, well, that's pretty basic. 6 equals 2 times 3. Now, the next rule that you have to go by is what about those exponents? So, whenever you multiply two units that are the same thing, then you add the exponents. So, meters times meters gives you meters squared. So, that would be like the unit for an area. A length times a width gives you an area. Whenever you have meters times meters squared, that gives you that gives you a volume. So a length times a width times a height gives you a volume. When you divide meters cubed by meters squared, you subtract the exponents. So meters cubed divided by meters squared Subtract 3 minus 2 gives you 1 for you just the unit itself. Or when you take meters cubed divided by meters, gives you meters squared. So that's a fundamental thing you have to know for this particular section. Now, getting into the actual sample problem. What's the flow rate through a 300 millimeter pipe if the fluid or the water is going through the pipe at a velocity of 1.2 meters per second? Like every time like every, like every one of the previous questions we've looked at, we look at for keywords. And the first keyword is flow rate. Now, one thing that you must remember about flow rates, when you go through this form, it has to be in meters cubed per second. So I'm not even going to include that in the future units. It's flow rate in cubic meters per second. Well, what else is in this question? question well 300 millimeter pipe that's a diameter of the pipe and lastly the velocity is given as 1.2 meters per second now what formula is going to be needed okay so flow rate equals area times velocity area of what well area of the diameter of the pipe now we are looking for the flow rate so that's the unknown so if that's the unknown that must mean that the area and the velocity have to be given well we know that meters cubed per second equals meters squared times meters per second. Notice meters squared times meters gives you meters cubed. So mathematically that works out. Well, if we go back to that previous one, flow rate equals area times velocity, we're not given the area, but we are given a pipe. And notice we're given the diameter of the pipe. And so, as we mentioned on earlier on how to find the areas, please remember, I encourage you strongly to use 0.785 times diameter times diameter. If you, if you are a little bit, if you are a little bit confused as to where that 0.785 number comes from, go back to the video that we looked at on area. Go back to the video on how to find the area of a cylinder. So 0.785 times diameter. So 0.785 times diameter times diameter. You plug the numbers in, and notice 300 millimeters is 0.3 meters. Multiply that all out. 0 0.07065 meters squared. So that's the area of the pipe. And again, the bigger the diameter of the pipe, the bigger the area. It's like adding more lanes to a road. The fluid is going through at the same speed, but because the diameter is bigger, your flow is going to be much bigger. So plug that number into the formula, and we will be able to start calculating flow rate. 
flow rate. We don't know what that is. And we took the answer from the area, 0 0.07065 meters squared, and we multiply that by the known velocity, 1.2 meters per second. Comes up with an answer of 0 0.08478 meters cubed per second. So that's the unit that we have to end up with. And notice the left side, meters cubed per second equals the right side. The units are the same, so we've got pretty good confidence. But unless we had big fat fingers, uh, we hopefully will have punched the numbers into the calculator correctly. So, the next thing that we have to do is check for the correct unit. Again, we confirm that meters cubed per second is equal to meters cubed per second, so the answer is correct. Well, what if? What can we do with this number? So, we found that the answer was 0 0.08478 meters cubed per second. What if we were asked to find the flow rate in liters per second instead of cubic meters per second? So we have to do a conversion. Now notice how that's cubic meters per second and we know that each cubic meter is a thousand liters. So we can cancel out some units there and notice how we are left with liters which is what we're looking for, per second, which is what we're looking for. And when we get that answer, 84.78, that makes sense. Because when you go from cubic meters to liters, you move the decimal three spots to the right. Well, what if you were asked to find in liters per minute, not just liters per second? Well, we can take the previous answer and multiply by 60, or just to backtrack a little bit, our initial flow rate in cubic meters per second times a thousand liters per minute times a thousand liters per cubic meter and then notice how the cubic meters cancel out and then we multiply that by 60 seconds in a minute notice how the seconds cancel out and we get the liters unit that we want divided by the minutes unit that we want and the answer is approximately 5,086.8 liters per minute. So if you want to have some uh, assistance in you know, how to flip these formulas around, here are the three options for this particular formula. So we know that flow rate equals area times velocity, cubic meters per second times meter squared per second. And we take flow rate divided by area that can be manipulated around. Notice area was in the previous question was on the right side of the formula. Divide both sides by area. Area cancels out on the right side and you have velocity left by itself. Flow rate divided by area equals velocity. And just to check for the units, notice meters cubed per second is on the top divided by meters squared. Well, meters cubed divided by meters squared gives you meters per second. So yeah, that the right side, the units work out, so that confirms. Left side, so the next option for this formula is flow rate divided by velocity equals area. And looking at the units, meters cubed per second divided by meters per second. Notice how the per seconds cancel out. And meters cubed divided by meters equals meters squared. Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the video in Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel and I'd encourage you to put some comments in and pass this site on to some of the other water and wastewater math students. Goodbye for now and have a good day. Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel. Uh, I'd encourage you to put in some comments and pass the site on to other water and wastewater students. Goodbye for now and have a good day.